Hello, it's John Heaton, and I'm going to continue my review of early Beatles reviews. And uh, sorry I'm not doing them in order, but uh, I did Please Please Me a few weeks ago. I'm now going to tackle their third album, which was A Hard Day's Night, which came out on the 10th of July 1964 in the UK. And uh, what is noticeable about this album is it's the first album to be exclusively Lennon McCartney compositions. Unlike the first two albums, Please Please Me and With The Beatles, which had several cover versions on each. And cover versions would also appear on Beatles For Sale and a couple of cover versions on Help. Um, but uh, this was must have been, like, obviously I was born that just uh, about six weeks or two months before this album came out. so. I don't remember it first hand, but it must have been a complete revelation to go out and buy this on the day of release and just see how John and Paul's songwriting was progressing from what was already an outstanding start with tracks like um, I Saw Her Standing There and Please Please Me on the first album and um, It Won't Be Long and All My Loving on the second. And this one I think takes it to the next level. and. Um, We'll go through the tracks. This is the new 180 gram vinyl, which my son bought the other day, which is not opened. This is not open yet. Sleeve notes from uh, Tony Barrow, as usual, uh, with uh, nice shots of the band there. Got the sticker covering it. Take that off to see Ringo. And then uh, the tracks. And this album, even though it's got 13 tracks on it, is only just over half an hour long. So a little bit short by maybe by usual standards I think 34 35 minutes is kind of was the norm so 30 30 is a little well, I don't know how long the first two albums were actually I didn't didn't uh, but 13 instead of 14 so maybe it is that little bit shorter I didn't, hadn't realized that until I looked it up just now um, starts off with uh, the title track from John and apparently I mean, it was a Ringoism. He said that straight-faced. You know, how's your how's your day been? It's been a hard day's night. And uh, Dick Lester immediately seized upon it as a good title for the film. And I think John went away and uh, quickly wrote a song with the same name so that he would get the title song of the film. Good at this stage of the Beatles' career. Very strong, creative rivalry between John and Paul in a good sense, you know, I think they were really spurring on each other to to great things. And at this stage of the relationship, um, it has to be said that Lennon was was coming up with more material, and it wasn't really until, uh, I think Revolver was the first album where Paul was, was uh, becoming John's complete and utter equal. Although, as we'll come to, when Paul does sing on this album, the results are pretty amazing. Uh, so it starts off with the title track, Hard Day's Night, which John sings, but he gives Paul the middle eight when I'm home because that was too high for him to reach. So stunning single, stunning guitar from uh, Harrison, guitar solo in his, you know, simple style, simple yet effective. And then talk about simplicity. I, I should have known better, you know, there aren't, very many chords in this song, um, but it just drives along brilliantly, and Lennon's singing it great, and it, they do it well on the film, in, in the film, Hard Day's Night, in the train, this particular one, in the guards van, I think they were, and it's another belter, and then If I Fell, the best ballad that they'd come up with to date, uh, with just some absolutely awesome harmonies between John and Paul. And uh, what's interesting is, this is the stereo version, so on this version, Paul slightly struggles to hit one of the high notes, and uh, which is not, not terrible, it's quite amusing actually to listen to, but on the mono version, he hits it no problem. So that through the years, there have been some interesting differences between the stereo and the mono versions, and that's one of them. Uh, but just a great melody and you know Lennon was to say later just before he died that he's not known for melody but uh, actually he's just as romantic as the next guy and uh, he proved that 
throughout his career, really, starting with this song, If I Fell, and uh, concluding with tracks like Woman and Grow Old With Me in 1980. So, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I'm happy to just, just to dance with you is not quite so brilliant. Uh, it's a Lennon-McCartney song which they probably felt wasn't that strong, so they gave it to George to sing, and George does a decent job with it. It jives along nicely. It's probably quite an effective dance number if it was played at a party. This whole album is probably. Um, it's just not a classic song, but uh, nothing wrong with it. Good, good harmony backing vocals from John and Paul. And uh, which brings us to the next chestnut on this album, which is And I Love Her, which is Paul just creating his he was to do many classic ballads in his career, and this is the best, and the, fir the first and one of the best of them. Uh, it's a sublime melody. It's well sung by Paul, double tracked main mainly. Uh, and George Harrison, as Paul acknowledged in the Living and Material World recent film, uh, he came up with that acoustic line, you know, dun, 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 which kind of pretty much makes the song. Uh, so really good contributions from the band and not just John and Paul here so you know they helped each other on the tracks you know instrumentation instrumentation wise guitar solo wise you know George contributing uh, even though he's not featured <coughs> as a songwriter on this album and there was on the anthology there was a, a reject from him which was nothing great uh, probably right to be rejected but on the next album <laughs> on the next but one album, Help, and then the following one, Rubber Soul, and there, there on, onwards from there, he would just produce, you know, great material. But on this one, he's uh, taking a back seat in terms of songwriting. Uh, and I love her, so that just sublime, many words to, to describe that song. Sublime is about the best, I think. And then Tell Me Why. Uh, another kind of good, good rollicking Beatles, early Beatles number but uh, a little bit <coughs> generic and following a formula I think um, you know upbeat trying to be you know it won't be long type song I guess but but just not not got the same hook really uh, and hence doesn't really have longevity in my opinion as a track it, it's not offensive and it fits in well here on the album I don't think they played it live very often, although I've seen it performed live by cover bands. Uh, Leonard's singing it well, and uh, it rocks along nicely, there's nothing wrong with it. And then but side one finishes with another classic, so they've already been, you know, one, two, four classics, and this is the fifth out of seven songs, which I would regard as all time Beatles classics. Can't Buy Me Love, which again is Paul McCartney his second vocal on side one and this was the single or one of the singles and big number one hit brilliantly sung by Paul one of his great early songs along with uh, I saw her standing there in all my loving in terms of upbeat early McCartney songs um, so br brilliant side one and then side two these songs were not from the movie but uh, they're from the same same time time period. Any time at all is a, a rocker from John, which he was fairly dismissive of in the Playboy interview. He didn't say it was terrible, just saying you know from C to A minor, with a shout it with me shouting is what he said, um, which may be true, technically, but uh, it it's uh, it packs a punch this one, and it's a good opener to side two. I'll try instead. I probably prefer this one. I think it's very. Nice melody and the middle eight as well. Lennon actually said he really liked that middle section. Um, gonna hide myself away, hey, I'll come back again someday, that, that bit. Uh, and then on the US, one of the US albums, there's a longer version of this song with an extra verse, which is interesting. So I think this is, you know, my favorite Lennon song on side two. Interesting to note on this album, Paul sings one. Sorry, Paul sings three lead vocals, George sings one, and John sings nine. So uh, it's that much dominated by Lennon at this stage. And uh, 
that would change, but it's just historically interesting to note that Lenin was dominating the, the songwriting at this particular period. Uh, after I'll Cry Instead comes McCartney's third piece, and each of the three pieces he's contributing, it may only be three of them, but uh, they're all they're all chestnuts, and uh, things we said today is uh, they did this really effectively. It's just obviously been re-released on the, the Hollywood Bowl live disc. Great number to do live, and uh, and it's great on the album. Uh, interestingly enough, Bob Dylan did a cover of this on the uh, the Art of McCartney recently, which uh, should we say he doesn't sing it too well, but uh, it, it's kind of quaint. Uh, when I get home is next. Uh, Sort of by numbers, John John song, which is pleasant and uh, drives along nicely. Uh, nothing wrong with it. Uh, probably say the same for you. Can't do that. Uh, you know, it was probably never going to be a single, but uh, it's it's pretty welcome here on side two of Hard Day's Night. Uh, and they did do this track on uh, live quite a bit. Uh, side two closes with another classic. And this time it's John writing another one of his romantic ballads, which he wasn't really known for. But uh, if you look at this album, it's already got If I Fell and Then I'll Be Back. So two absolute romantic classics. Uh, I love it. Brilliant harmonies from John and Paul. Great instrumentation. Uh, this is songwriting genius. And... Uh, dare I say it, a great party record at the time, probably, and uh, just great variation, and uh, you could tell this band were really going places in terms of the progression from the previous album, and then that continued throughout their career till they split, really. Thank you for watching. See you next time.